How's it going everybody? Today I wanted to make a video discussing my CompTIA Security Plus certification, why I went for it, how it's helped me, and uh, you know, that kind of stuff. So start back in 2022, it was my first enterprise role. I was working as a IT support analyst and my manager recommended the Security Plus because it's a really good certification to have no matter what facet of IT you're in. If you go into development, if you go into cloud, if you go into some administration, it's just a good cert to have. Security is super important and it's a a very applicable certification. It teaches you a lot of really useful things and it's helpful no matter which route you take. At the time, I didn't have a specific specialty in mind, but I just thought, yeah, this seems really interesting. I should learn more about this. The company that I worked for actually had two ransomware attacks with the previous IT team. Uh, actually, that's why they quit and new management took over. But yeah, and because of that, we were really security minded. Security was a big focus. We didn't want a repeat of what happened last time. So the main course material I used was basically just Jason Dion. I found his Udemy course to be exceedingly informative. There was a lot of information displayed, much of which wasn't really featured on the exam, but he did let you know, hey, this won't be on the exam, but it's good to know, which I did appreciate because it lets you know, like, okay, I can skip past this. And, you know, if you're really only focused on getting that piece of paper, then it's a good course to watch because he gives you everything that you need and he doesn't waste your time with the stuff that you don't. And then, of course, if you are interested in it, then you can keep watching anyway. So it's, it's really good in that regard. And you also get a really comprehensive practice this test, which it's not really worded like the final exam that's from CompTIA, but it does cover the same subject matter and it does reinforce your knowledge and, and really test what you know. So again, I really recommend Jason Dion's course if you're if you're looking for really any CompTIA certification. I have a couple of them and he's been really good with that. But anyways, I, I studied for a few months on and off and, you know, I felt like I was learning a lot for sure. And then when the exam time came, it was through Pearson. I did it online. Basically, you know, you register for the exam, sign in and you get a sign to proctor and it was a really big mess I, I was like disconnecting before the exam and then once i disconnected i had to wait in queue again and i already had a specific exam time booked and i was like oh shit am i gonna miss this but luckily it all worked out i finally got to the exam and the exam itself was um it wasn't too bad. I was actually expecting it to be a little bit more challenging, but I did study for a long time and I did go over a lot of practice tests. I did watch every video and take notes. It makes sense that I was prepared for it. Uh, I forget what my score was, but it was pretty good. It's mostly multiple choice with a couple of performance-based questions, but it's nothing too complex. If you're new to security and or new to IT, then you will have to approach it with a little bit more caution. But because I've been working in IT and because I've been exposed to security elements, for instance, like my manager would have me sit in on SOC meetings. So I was, uh, you know, I'd go over the security reports and, and the systems analyst that I was working alongside also let me run some Nessus scans and, and look up those CVEs. And, you know, I was getting my hands dirty in real time, which definitely aided my studies. But ultimately, if you're coming from a, a background with no IT or limited IT, make sure that you do spend a lot of time studying. But what I like about the Security Plus is it builds a really strong foundation, teaches you the terms, teaches you about confidentiality, uh, integrity, availability. It teaches you about things like the attack service, attack vectors, all of these terms, which by the way, as a security analyst, which is what I do now, I hear every single single day. So it's really helpful. It really, it really reaffirmed that, okay, yeah, this is a great certification if you're looking to pursue a career in security or just get the hell out of help desk, right? Whatever you're trying to do, this certificate can probably help. I think it's important to continuously grow in this field. It's actually kind of essential as far as I'm concerned. And I really enjoyed doing it. But what I will say is that this is the first CompTIA cert that I got. It really made me appreciate CompTIA. There were some questions on the exam, by the way, that I didn't really like. Like, I feel like they were worded very poorly. They were a little bit ambiguous. If you chat GPT it, you get different answers. So it's it's one of those things where like, I feel like some of the questions on the exam could have and should have been written a little less vaguely. I think that they should have done a better job of articulating their, their question. But at the end of the day, most questions were fair game and they really tested your knowledge in a good way. So I, I can't hate on it too much. I do feel like these exams are a little bit expensive. The Security Plus being a really popular foundational security, I feel like it's fair. Like I, you know, for Canadians, it was like just under $600, but that's a lot of money. I know there are some certs that are thousands of dollars, and I know that there are some that are a lot less. Like I think the one of the Microsoft ones I did was like 200, but 600 is just a lot of money. Maybe that's just me having an issue in today's economy. I don't know, but yeah, I, I really have a overall positive experience with the certification. It has helped me immensely working in security and continuing to work in security. It's essential for me. I hope to get more experience and then obtain the CISSP 
which is sort of like the gold standard. It's basically like the Security Plus on crack. And then also do a little bit more offsec because I'm, I'm enjoying that as well. But it really started with this cert. I mean, this cert is kind of the foundation for everything in my profession. Now, if you don't do security as a profession and you do something else, again, it's still super beneficial to have this listed because everybody knows what it is. And if you're in IT, security is always going to be a consideration. It doesn't matter if you're in cloud. It doesn't matter if you're a developer. You're always going to have to factor in security to some extent or another. That's been my experience. I hope to make more of these kinds of videos with my certs as I go on. I thought I would do this kind of a video because I haven't done it before. Hopefully you find it informative. I don't know what the hell I'm doing on this channel as per usual. So yeah, I like making these videos and if, if they benefit you guys, that's even better. So yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next video and uh, also Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. It is December 18th. So that's coming around real quick and uh, happy new year if I don't see you guys until then. And hopefully I will see you in the new year. So take care, everybody. sponsor is Remotely, a next generation remote access tool. It supports 4K at 60 frames and it even supports HDR. It's low latency, which makes it great for PC gaming, and it's supported on all recent versions of Windows. It supports session recording and voice chat, and it allows you to mark up web pages. It also has a very active community forum where you can post up your issues and get solutions in the same day. All transmitted data is encrypted using AES-256, so it is extremely secure. There's a strong 14 sign connection ID, which makes it virtually impossible to guess. You also have the option to brand the quick support tool with your company brand and logo. And there's an advanced mobile application that allows you to use your tablet as a terminal. And currently there's free licensing for both business and personal usage. So you have nothing to lose. I've been using this software now for a couple weeks and I'm very happy with it. And I highly recommend you guys check it out. Again, big thanks to Remotely for sponsoring this video. Check them out at the link in the description below.